Millie's next on the drive. When you come across the street from McDonald's, you get over by Middle East, you're on the coast. Everything on this side of the Mass Ave is coast, all the way to the river. When I first came to Cambridge, I was port side. Then I came to the coast. All my kids are coast. All my kids. My, my, my daughter won't leave the coast. My son don't want to leave the coast. And we staying in the coast. You give a fuck where it is. If I got to go back up to Fairmont Village, I'm staying on the coast. Because coast is what's up. Crack the roof and we steam No candy off in my lean Just missed calls in my phone Sandy with the codeine M.O.B. I get blown Bitches off for my team Can't fall asleep with these hoes Millie's Yes sir I got him <laughs> I'm back in Cambridge y'all Thanks for coming man I appreciate it Nah man thank you bro Yeah no doubt No doubt mm -hmm. I want to get right into your EP man Okay. First of all, I love the graphics, man. I love the work. I love the artwork. Yeah. Where, where, who did that? Like, um, a young lady by the name of uh, Deandra Turner. Deandra Turner. Okay. Yeah, she's out of Boston. She worked a lot on my um, a lot of my projects and okay. whatnot. She does like ninety percent of my art. Okay. So did she? Did you give her that idea? Or did she come back? To yeah. You? No, I was looking for short bus images. I just wanted something to stick out, and I saw that somewhere, and I sent it to her, and I was like, okay. Come on, you already know what to do. Okay, okay. So one, yeah. one of the songs on there is called Pearl Street. Right, right, right. Is that an actual street in Cambridge? Yeah, that's the street I, I, I grew up on. Okay. It was like, um, it runs right off of Mass Ave in okay. Central Square. Okay. So like I was like a six block walk to Central Square when mm. I was growing up or whatever. So you was one of them wild kids that was out in Central Square throwing. Yeah, we when I was in Central Square, it was it was zombies everywhere. I mean, still now if you go to the Middle East and you, you know what I mean, you spend enough time, you gonna see the zombies everywhere. But when I was growing up, they were really marching, you know. So okay, so now so on that song, there's there's a there's a guy talking. No, uh, yeah, that? yeah, old man from my neighborhood named Jack. Um. He's just, you know, the, the OG, he's like a Cambridge historian and shit. Okay. He'll tell you who who lost a fight in the bar in 1978. <laughs> you know, all of that type of shit. So okay. we had him in the park one day and we just, um, I, I put out the voice note joint and I was like, yo, just talk about the coast, bro. Cause I mm. knew it was gonna, I knew how it was gonna sound on the beat. Yeah, that shit was dope. That's yeah. that's my favorite track on, on the EP, FYI. Yeah. But that, that, that track is dope. The beat is dope. The nah, concept man, thank is crazy. You, thank you. I think that's real original. Why, so so in it though, he's talking about like I'm not from Cambridge, so I need you to educate me. He's talking about coast and port. What's that what's that boy? Yeah, the coast and the port. Well there's five neighborhoods in Cambridge. It's, it's um the coast, the port, North Cambridge, East Cambridge, and West Cambridge. Okay. And um like I told you it's like it's 14 different projects in Cambridge. It's, and so West Cambridge got one and then you split up the, the rest of the 13 in between the coast, port, North Cambridge and East Cambridge. But the okay. coast and the port, they're just separated by Mass Ave and Central Square. So take this. Yeah, left. you can bust that left. Okay. That's actually Patrick Ewan's house right there. Where this right here? That's Patrick Ewan's house right there. Currently or that's where he That's where his family still live. Wow. But that's where he grew up. Okay. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Yeah. What's up with you, bro? How you been? Cooling, cooling. Yeah, yeah man. Smoke. Still balling? Still doing me, man. I could dig it. But I'm writing a book right now. Oh, yeah? I'll let you know when it drops, bro. I need a chapter yeah, in that easy. joint. I got you. <laughs> Good to see you, man. All right, man. So when did, when, did, when, when did you introduce, or when did the hip-hop introduce itself to you? When did that, that relationship Just start? Just everywhere, bro. Like, like, Cambridge is like rap culture like that's all we listened to like it wasn't like that was the only shit moving you mm, know like mm. so when i was like eight you know i i knew every lyric to like shit like montel jordan and uh, this mm, is how mm, we do yeah, it yeah, <laughs> all yeah, of yeah. them type of joints you know like little like that's that's all i ever knew 
So when did rap, the, when did you, you pick know? the pen up? When did you? I started writing. I start I started writing like early, and then um, this dude had dissed me and shit when I was like fourteen. And then I went to the studio in Charlestown for the first time, and we and we rapped. We rapped over the Keep It Thorough beat by Prodigy, and mm. I de I destroyed him. And we went up to the high school, because at this time I was already kicked out of high school. I was going to school in Charlestown, but we went back to the high school. Um, you gonna take this left? Okay. We went back to the high school or whatever, um, and we had a like a disc man. And we just played the song individually for everybody in the school at once, you know. So <laughs> like, he played his song and you. Nah, played? he didn't even have a song. Oh, okay, like okay. he had dissed me, but we was foul with it. Like we was ready to take it with because he wasn't like built like that. Yeah. You know, but um, shout out to him. He sparked my rap career up. You know, <laughs> that's really how I started rapping. He dissed me for no reason. I hear that. So is the EP out now or is it? Where? Nah, the EP's out. Okay, yeah, so the EP's on Apple Music. Apple Music. Buy my yep. shit on iTunes. Yep. The EP's on uh, Spotify. Okay. Should be on Pandora soon. Yep. They got it in the jails. <laughs> they got it in the jails. Um, on the kiosk and all that. That's what's up. Um, and then it's on Spotify. You know, that's the main source. I think we, we coming up on, um, so far on Spotify, like the tape got like 55,000 plays. I don't know when this is coming out. But hopefully when this come out, it'll have like 100 racks. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> So take a left, bro. Take a left. Okay. Who who are the? Ooh, 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 that was live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all oh, missed that. Shit. I what? was gonna get paid. Yeah. <laughs> I would have made my rap career off the drive. Yeah. <laughs> shit. You wouldn't have made that next show though. It's all right. <laughs> I'd have been. You could go all the way straight. Straight down. I'd have been perked up in the hospital. <laughs> Getting ready to get my bag. <laughs> so who are the Colombians, man? Who who are the Colombians? The Colombians. I met the Colombians over the internet, but they really people get it fucked up. Like they really okay. live in Medellin. Oh, okay. And people okay. pronounce it Medellin, but it's Medellin. You don't know say Med Medellin Med around real Colombians. It's Medellin. Okay. Um and uh yeah they just sent that heat and we we started rocking. You are gonna have to take a right like next next right. Next right. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's like a little Greek festival they do. Okay. Like the Greek area and all okay. that. Okay. But um, yeah, no, they started sending beats, and I just, I just always, um, I just always dug their music, like. Yeah, they, they. So those are like my in-house producers, but they live in Medellin, and I go out there too. You know? Oh, do you? Yeah, I've been there two times in the last year. Oh, so you, you, you physically met them? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, you, yeah. They came down there. here. I go fuck with them out there. We go to the club. We oh, in Medellin, dope. where it's. You know, the craziest shit about Medellin is like a, a beautiful paradise, but you just can't sleep. You can't? Or it's, what? It's dangerous. You oh, know? really? It's, oh, you mean... Oh, you I can bust a left literally. right here. Okay. Nah, you know, it's, it's like... It's, it's like it's ugly. It's certain of them countries, like I've been to Trinidad too, that's like, it's, it's dangerous out there, but it's you. paradise at the same time. I got you, okay. All right, so are they exclusive to you? Can do P can No, no, nah, nah, people could work, and I want people to work with them. Okay. I'm trying to get their beats to more people, you know? They got a bunch of shit in the works right now. Yeah, but y'all should listen to them, man. Listen to them the Yeah, Columbians. definitely. At the Colombians, and that's with an O. Like, it's not like Columbia, like Columbia Jackets and whatnot. Or University of Columbia out here is <laughs> Columbia. C-O-L-O-M-B-I-A-N-S. The Colombians on everything. And my, my biggest question to you, man, is how, how the fuck are you Jada Kiss's cousin? <laughs> <laughs> like, I said, Millie's, you always show him a lot of love. That's Boston Zone. Millie's my, Millie's my cousin, baby. There it is, man. <laughs> how are you motherfuckers related? Oh, uh, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was real, man. <laughs> Um, Kiss is just cool. Yeah, how like, yeah, I, did, I, did a, I did a record with Kiss through yep. my manager. Yep. And um, we kind of just vibed after that. Okay. Like, yeah, you could go like where the McDonald's alley okay. is. Okay. We kind of just vibed after that. Like, so go like that. Um, you know, he would uh, he would always be like getting his bag in, in the strip club, and I always be in a strip club in New York too. Like, okay. I got a lot of friends in the strip club and um 
you know, I, we, we would vibe in the club and we vibe on some sports shit. We vibe in the studio and it's just the big bro. Okay. My, my big cousin, like he said, you know. Yeah. Was, so let me ask you one last question about, about the New England culture. Right. Where, where do you feel like we are as, as you know, our hip hop culture? Are we, are we set to blow? Have we blown already? Are we far away from? Um, no, nah, I think we in a better place than we ever been, ever. You know, um, I feel like all the, the stigmas from before, they don't apply to now. Because mm. them kids don't even understand that shit. Mm. We, how we grew up and people be like, oh, Boston be hating. And kids don't understand that shit. They're on the internet. This is their world. Like, Got you. a 21-year-old don't give a fuck about what happened fucking 20 years ago. I got you. You know, when yeah. he was just being born. Like, so all of that shit is out the window. Adapt to get run over. It's possible. You know? Even when I started, I started with this white boy like me movement shit. I know that shit would have went viral. Mm. Me because movement, you said? Nah, white boy like me. It was like me. Oh, me white on, boy like you. Me on the cover in a white t shirt in front of like 30 black dudes in my neighborhood with black tees on. Just the image would have been pol polarizing, you know? I okay. agree. I, it would have went viral, but viral. It, like it at the time, it was like MySpace. Like shit wasn't going viral on MySpace. You're going to keep going straight. That's, that's, a, that's true, I agree. You know, so, I like, it's not to take nothing away from everybody laid, laid groundwork. The internet just made it easier. So, let me ask you that. Is that, that stigma, do you do you deal with that or is that a thing of the past where people, they look at you and go, he's white, whatever, after that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Or, yeah. you still deal I mean, with that shit? I mean, we, we, it's America, you know. Wow. I mean, what do you mean by it, like? Like, like questioning your... Your, your rap, like questioning your hip hop, like do you? Are you oh yeah, maybe, but I mean, I, I don't know. Like it, it don't really. Um, you could take that right. It don't really affect me. I just know what it is with me. Like yeah. you know, shit. I'm one of the only Googleable rappers. Take a right as far as like, yeah, my actual past and shit. If you Google my real name or whatever, however you want it. Yeah. I know my whole story. You can't poke no holes in it. Yeah. You know. So. Um, it's a it's a blessing and a curse though, you know. Yeah. Well, I think Make I think me you stand out, dope, man. Yeah, appreciate you. Bro. And right now the EP is out. Yes, sir. The short bus. The motherfucking short bus. It's a push button, y'all. From track one to track seven. That's a fact. It's a push button. You just sit back and listen. And yeah, it's Jada's cousin. Millie's on man. the drive. The drive.